everybody welcome to Teresa's world as you can see Osborne house is behind me and do you know who lived at Osborne house Queen Victoria and she also died here so you may or may not know that um, I have this book it's called a history of England in a hundred places written by the late John Julius Norwich and I'm hoping to visit all these hundred places and I always do a little vlog about the visit One room that was absolutely stunning was the Durbar room. It, it, you just walk in there and you go, wow! I've just read in the book that Queen Victoria has her own bathing machine from which on the 30th of July 1874 at the age of 55 she for the first time in her life cautiously lowered herself into the sea so I'm going to walk down to the beach and um, show you that I just pan round look just over here look you can see Osborne house up through there it's beautiful here absolutely gorgeous but it is, you know, a royal household, isn't it? So it will be beautiful. This is gorgeous. Um, obviously the tide is in, uh, but I can imagine um, it being absolutely gorgeous when that tide is out. And here it is, the famous bathing machine. There's a little cafe here where you can get um, a cup of tea, ice cream, and um, I think I'm going to do that right now. I have to say, a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> I don't believe I did that. And what a lovely view to enjoy. With me cup of tea and me eye poked out. <laughs> I'm now following the rhododendron walk to Swiss Cottage. So behind me is Swiss Cottage, basically like a doll's house for the royal children and there were nine of them. So with this wonderful view in the background, I'm going to say bye bye now. Um, from Osborne House and I hope I've inspired you to come here or even inspired you to come to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> See you again on my next trip. If you want to follow my little travels and things I do um, then do hit subscribe. Just means you kind of get notified I think when I upload a video. All right bye bye then. Trees as well. <laughs>